Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Lucas. And today I discovered this crazy image generation tool. Um, as you can see, it created a bunch of different images of me um, in different styles. This is like, you know, some type of currency style. This is like with some cool specific lights, right? And, you know, I've been trying a bunch of different tools. If you know my YouTube channel, I try a bunch of different tools, right? I, I've i tried them all, right? But this, in terms of uh, consistent characters is the best. And the best part of this all is that I just provided one specific image and it generated all these different images and from different types of perspectives, right? We have side perspectives like this. We have um, other types of side perspectives. We have side perspectives from a different angle and they all really look like me. So in today's video, what I wanna do is I actually, I actually wanna go into this tool, start off from scratch and kind of show you how this works. And before we actually begin, I'd love to invite you guys to my Discord server. We are a bunch of different startup founders, designers, developers. And this is basically the reason why I discovered this tool, right? We talk about different tools and someone mentioned this tool today and it really amazed me. So I'm talking about it right now, sharing it with you guys. So if you guys are interested in talking about these types of topics, feel free to join my Discord. Link is down in the description below. So yeah, this website is called ideogram.ai. And basically you have, like with all AI tools, you have like this top part, this main call to action where you have a prompt and you have like your specific um, different settings over here. And then on the, t on the left, you have creations, which is, you know, your past creations. You have canvas, you have batch, and you have character. So if you click on character, for example, you can add an image. This is one of the images that I added. But we can go ahead and look for other people like, like Will Smith, right? We can save this image. Uh, let's just call it Will Smith. And then we can go back into the ideogram character reference and we can upload this image. And then once that starts uploading, you're going to see it at the very top over here. And you can describe what you want to see. But I think before you want to do that, it's best to kind of test out these different templates, right? Because we have a bunch of different templates here that you can kind of test out. We have movie scene, we have UFO chaser, we have glam light leak, which is the one that I was showing you before. So there's a bunch of different styles. Um, but the cool thing about these different styles is that, for example, we can choose, let's choose a simpler one. Let's choose something like this. And it gives you a prompt over here. Right? And this is going to be important for like the next thing that I'm going to talk about. But let's just generate this to kind of show you what this what this looks like. And by the way, um, we also have this. So we can generate, we can choose how many images we want to generate. We can choose the uh, output quality. We can choose um, if you if we want it to be fast um, in terms of the render speed or, or uh, quality is, is more important. So you can go ahead and check out all of these different options down here. But I'm going to go ahead and click on generate. And if you're wondering about pricing, I think I did like five or six generations for free. And then I had to kind of upgrade to a pro account where it's about 20 bucks a month. So just, you know, just for your info. And we basically get these results, right? We get something very similar to the image that we save, something with a different expression, right? And we start getting different types of expressions. So um, now what I told you before, uh, it's important to kind of realize the how the prompt is structured, because this is where, you know, you'd have an idea of like maybe creating a certain type of thumbnail style, right? So we all know Mr. Beast, right? We all know that he has this um, specific type of thumbnail style. It's very kind of exaggerated, emotional, right? It's, it's um, he's, he does a lot of testing with a bunch of different thumbnail styles. His thumbnails are pretty, pretty, you know, impressive. And, you know, you might want to have something, I don't know, something like this, right? That you are kind of balancing on the top of a, of a mountain, right? So what you can do is you can take a screenshot of this and then in ChatGPT, you can go ahead and drag in this screenshot and we can just go like this, right? Drag it in and then we can go back into the templates, just choose one of these templates or maybe I'm just gonna choose a little one that's a little bit more detailed, maybe something with, with text like this magazine one, this one. And we can go ahead and bring this into ChatGPT and say like, hey, I want you to get this image and create a prompt similar to the following prompt. I also, you know, added, please disregard the, the time, right? Because we have the time down here. And we basically get a dramatic adventure magazine cover featuring a daring subject crossing a suspended wooden bridge 
right? So, okay, we, we also have this magazine title verticals displayed, so we don't really need that. We can change the, the text from vertical to something else, maybe like, I don't know, dangerous or, or whatever, or we can put like no code. Let's put no code united, which is the name of my, of my Discord community, right? And let's go ahead and click on generate. Now we're starting to get something cool, right? As you can see, Will Smith is walking over the mountains over here. Now I've also noticed that Google's model is pretty amazing at generating images. As you can see here, I have one of my thumbnail images, my thumbnail shots here, me in a black t-shirt, kind of smiling awkwardly. And as you can see, I said, make me wear a suit. I am wearing a suit, basically the same face, didn't change anything at all, didn't change the background at all and it just added that suit for me, right? And a nice black polo shirt. What's also cool is that you can add like types of pictures like this, where you can maybe take a picture of your hands wearing um, with the screen of a product that you that you made, right? Like of a, web, of a website or of an app. And you can, I mean, this, this background looks nice with the sky, but you can also ask it to change the color, the background to look like something else, like grass, for example. So we got this, and as you can see, the text, the content stays exactly the same. We just get a different type of background over here. Now, going back to Ideogram, you actually have this main feed of different things and you can start to notice some things. You start to notice that you have a lot of different logos, right? That's another thing that Ideogram is actually very good at. So you have like really advanced logos like this Parkway Drive. You have some with like really cool like text like this, you have some that are kind of mixed with different illustrations, you have some in like a cool like t-shirt style. So this tool is actually also very good at generating logos. So let's go ahead and try to generate something. So let's first off start by saying what type of logo we want to see. So let's go ahead and make actually a new logo for my community, right? So let's create, let's, let's make a logo for a community of designers and developers called No Code United. Now, down here we have styles, right? So we have an auto style, which basically the AI chooses what style we want. We have something random. We have general, which it says general is a flexible style suitable for most, most uses, including artistic and abstract work. We have realistic, which is obviously for like, you know, um, photography. And we have design, which is more vector art style. So let's go ahead and choose design and let's go ahead and choose color um, we can choose a specific custom style of color or we can choose one of these presets now i don't really know i'm i, I would like to be surprised as to what type of color we want so let's go ahead and click on generate and as this generates we can still continue looking at the feed and we get this little pop-up box over here and we start getting different types of designs we have this one we got this one this one and this one so as you can see, they're kind of like with this, it kind of like reminds me of like a tech company-ish, like a IT company, I would say, or you have like these little uh, graphs over here. Um, this one kind of looks like an AI type of company. These aren't so impressive, I would say. So we can actually take one of these things, right? We can get maybe like something crazy like this. And I'm gonna save this image, set apart. Let's just save it over here. And then let's go back to our prompt. And I saw that under design, so if we click on this and under design, we can add a reference. So it says style reference lets you use specific images as visual references. So let's go ahead and add this image as a reference. And let's maybe try to use a specific color. Let's make something like, I'm looking, I'm thinking like something jungle or fresh. My current logo is a little, is green and white. So maybe something, let's choose something like this and let's click on create. Now this is what I'm talking about. We get no code united and we get a few people walking over here, right? We get the mountains in the background. Uh, it has like a united feel because it's like a circular area with different people all communicating together. Over here as well, we also get like the circle symbol, but we also get these cool freaky, you know, vector graphics type of style. I really love it. And we also, we have this guy over here with his interesting fists, right? But also very, very cool art style. We can also be a little bit more specific as to what we want to see. So let's make a logo for a community of designers and developers called No Code United that represents a group of innovators 
and a large football pitch, right? That's, I get this United somehow because of, I don't know, it sounds like a, like a soccer team. So let's go ahead and click on generate. And all right, we start getting some people uh, doing different things. We get a group of innovators over here and we still keep this specific art style. And as you can see throughout the whole thing, there might be some, some things that are off, like maybe this guy's nose, right? Um, but, or maybe this text, as you can see over here, but for the most part, it looks great. Now we also have the canvas down uh, over here on the left, right? So we have the canvas and if you click on the canvas, you get basically a canvas view and you can start generating stuff. So I'm going to get my face and I'm going to generate myself looking, well, let's get a specific style. Let's actually get the style from, um, I don't know, realistic fiction create fiction creates unique characters with a mix of imaginative and fiction elements. All right, let's do that. And let's start to uh, make me look like an Olympic runner, an Olympic runner, right? Let's click on, on generate. And as you can see, it starts generating. We get this infinite canvas view. And what's nice is that you get my face, but it's not a photorealistic image, right? We have different types of styles over here. So we can get something like, for example, I really like this one, right? And we can just get this one, move it down here in the bottom. And what's cool is that we have like different things, like we have this extend feature that we can just extend the canvas to be a little bit larger like this, right? Maybe we want this part to be lower and we want this to look like this. And then we can go ahead and, you know, add an additional, uh, an additional prompt based on, on this specific extend area. So we can say like, make me look like an Olympic runner running away from a large crocodile, right? And look at that. I'm running. There's a huge crocodile tail over here and I didn't give it so much room um, for imagination, but it did a fantastic job doing that. Me running on the on the uh, water over here and the big crocodile on the left side. We also have the remix tool, which basically, you know, I can just uh, click on this and I wrote, make me look like an Olympic runner running away from a large crocodile in Paris. And now it's basically going to generate four different images down here of me doing just that. And yeah, these are the results that we get. Similar style in terms of like the color style, like the painting style, I would say, but we get different results, right? Um, it doesn't look quite like me. Maybe some, maybe it does, but like this guy doesn't really look like me. But um, this guy probably does look more like me, I would say. But the initial images look, they all kind of look like me in a sense. Anyways, what are the use cases of this, right? That's what probably some of you might be thinking about. Well, I think about stuff like LinkedIn profile pictures. You can generate different profile shots like this and easily add them to your, to your LinkedIn profile. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this quick video today. Um, yeah, pretty fun tool. Just, just found out a bit about it very, um, very recently. And uh, I think there's a lot of potential behind this tool for, um, you know, creating profile shots for like LinkedIn or different type of social media channels, creating thumbnails for content, creating product photography, creating logos, creating like cool artwork for your brand. I definitely recommend you guys try this tool out. Again, you can try it out for free. You can do like, like six different types of generations for free. And yeah, let me know in the comments uh, below what you guys built. Love to know that. And again, if you uh, are interested in hanging out with me and with the other people in my community, please feel free to join the Discord community down in the description below. But yeah, thank you so much for joining. Hope to see you next time. Goodbye.